This week we're going to do a twofer because I picked two communion hymns. They're both so short that we're just going to learn two of them. Uh, the thing is, the reason this all started, I was taking a walk and I started humming Now the Silence, um, and I don't know why. I mean, I couldn't even remember the, all the words. I was just, this is God meant to be. Okay, anyway, now the silence. It's in uh, ELW 460. I, we probably all know it. Harisa Fahida was one of the leading hymn writers in the 20th century, arguably a preeminent Lutheran hymn writer of his generation. He was born in Ohio, son of a Lutheran pastor of Slovak descent. A uh, thoroughly union, he was, <laughs> union, thoroughly Lutheran. <laughs> educated at Concordia uh, College, the seminary, and he retired as a um, Missouri Synod pastor. He wrote his first uh, hymn at the age of 49, and then 225 more original works followed that, and his translations appear worldwide in 65 hymnals. Well, Now the Silence is the author's most highly published hymn, and it's unusual in its construction. The entire hymn contains 14 lines, no punctuation. The incessant word, um, use of the word now, 16 times, places the mystery of the Eucharist into the center of the singer's consciousness. Um, he died in 2008. Well, this tune makes a significant contribution to the experience of this hymn. Carl Schock, leading Lutheran organist composer, recognized this uh, poem's potential. And winner, winner, chicken dinner, he did really well on this tune. Now the silence, now the peace, now the empty hands are lifted. Now the kneeling, now the plea, now the Father's arms are welcome. Now the hearing, now the power, now the vessel gives a pouring. Now the body, now the blood, now the joyful sound. Of the song overshadows the length of the song. The song is like 56 seconds. Well, Shirley Murray wrote this and she died just in 2020. And she was from New Zealand. She was a Methodist who married a Presbyterian pastor. Her texts are known for the directness with which they confront te uh, contemporary issues. Peace is intrinsically connected to justice. And Christ's appearance as the bread of peace refers to more the, the communion bread. It's the impetus for peace in our relationships. And there's no getting around that a communion hymn is sung uh, around the assembly sharing the peace. Well, in this singing, it narrates an additional encounter with God, one where there's laughter and silence, where hands are open in gratitude and expectation, where healing is brought by a community together around the table. The tune. <laughs> Carlton Young wrote this. Um, he was born in 1926 in Ohio. He served during the Air Force in World War II. He was a teacher, editor, composer, conductor. Has a unique distinction, distinction of serving as the editor for two revisions for the Methodist hymnal. His composing style is quoted as this. The rhythm just comes up from the page and with it invariably comes a melody. It just happens. I can't explain it. Up until his death in 2000, he was still working on Methodist hymns. With the sea, with the silence. 